Hello everyone. So welcome you all to Ishtok tutorial. So my dear friends, as I have informed you this morning that today we will be learning about the wildlife sanctuaries of Meghalaya, right? So how many wildlife sanctuaries are there in our state? We are going to learn today in this video. So there are three wildlife sanctuaries in Meghalaya. So number one is Siju Wildlife Sanctuary in Garo Hills. Another is Nongalam Wildlife Sanctuary. Then again, in, in that is in Ripoy District. And then again, we have the Bakmara Pitcher Plant Wildlife Sanctuary in South Garo Hills. So we have two in South Garo Hills. That is Siju Wildlife Sanctuary, then Bakmara Pitcher Plant Wildlife Sanctuary. These two are in South Garo Hills. And again, we have another one in Reboy District. That is the Nongkilam Wildlife Sanctuary. So altogether, we have three wildlife sanctuaries in Mikhalia. All right, Siju Wildlife Sanctuary, then Nongkilam Wildlife Sanctuary, and Bakmara Pitcher Plant wildlife sanctuaries right well so now first of all let us study about the siju wildlife sanctuary so it is located in the south garo hills and you know the siju wildlife sanctuary is very very famous why the people of south garo hills you will know it right so if you know then post this video and comment down why siju wildlife sanctuary is famous so let me tell you it is famous for the siju cave so siju cave is one of the longest caves in india right now, what animals or what wildlife will you see in siju wildlife sanctuary so you can find slow lorries bats elephants and even hornbills right now the hornbill festival is going on right so come into the comment section and tell me in which state do we celebrate in northeast india the hornbill festival where megong festival you all know right cherry blossom festival you all know then you should also know where do we celebrate the hornbill festivals please comment down siju wildlife sanctuary located in south garo hills it is famous for siju cave and the animals or fauna found here are slow lorries hornbill bats etc let's continue with the second one that is nongkilam wildlife sanctuary nongkilam wildlife sanctuary is located in the Rebhoi district now you see my dear friends the interesting fact about learning about the geography of meghalaya or any other state or any other country is that when we make videos we love it when the people belonging to that particular region they comment down and they say yes sir, i belong to the reboy district i have seen the nongkilam wildlife sanctuary if you say like this we feel happy those belonging to siju wildlife sanctuary area if you comment down there yes sir we have visited the siju wildlife sanctuary or we have seen the siju cap or we belong to south garo hills then you know it becomes interesting when it is not only one way communication even i get to know about you right so it should be that way i hope that all of you watching my videos are are b ed and dl ed past candidates right so that's why you will know that whenever we are teaching it should be two way communication it should not be one way only all right so that's why of course i know that i make the video and you watch it it becomes one way but you can make it interesting by commenting down in the comment section then only it becomes interesting and it becomes a two-way communication right so those belonging to reboy district please comment down whether you have seen this wildlife sanctuary or not and who all belong to reboy district and those who belong to south garo hills and have seen or not the cg wildlife sanctuary please comment down right so uh, nongkilam wildlife sanctuary let's, so let's come back to nongkilam wildlife sanctuary so it is located in reboy district and it is famous for what it is famous for the varieties the diversity of different birds and their species right it is famous for the birds diversity or birds variety some of the birds found here are the gray peacock right the gray peacock the hornbill several other migratory birds right and what about the animals the animals found here are the himalayan bear are you scared or not of bear of course you are scared of the real bear but you love teddy bear right and i believe that once in your life you might have got teddy bear as your gift from your special ones right so if what i said is true then please comment down in the comment section let me see then all right we find here uh himalayan bears and leopards right and even other wild animals now let us come to the last wildlife sanctuary that is the bagmara pitcher plant wildlife sanctuary right the name itself you know about the location right so location is in south garo hills so why is it famous this picture a uh, bagmara picture plant sanctuary why is it famous of course by the name itself you can guess it right that is what that is the presence of picture plant so you get a lot and lots of picture plant in bagmara picture plant sanctuary right so here what happens is that uh, you know these picture plants are the endemic species of meghalaya which means most in most of the places you find this picture plant especially in these 
Bank Mahara Picture Plant Sanctuary. All right. Let me tell you one interesting fact. Are you interested in this interesting fact? Yes, you are. So what is that? So that is that this peach plant is known as the carnivore. Now you have studied in your lower classes that they are producers, then herbivores, then carnivores, then omnivores, then decomposers, right? So all these groups of organisms are there. So who are producers? Producers are the plants, right? Then herbivores are what? Herbivores are the animals who eat only the plants like the goats, the cow, right? And carnivores are the animals or insects who eat the meat or who eats the other living organisms or other animals or other insects, right? So you might have heard quite often that yes, there are many insects who like to eat the plants. But have you ever heard that a plant loves to eat insects? Have you? Yes, I believe that you have heard that even a plant likes to eat the insects. So which plant is that? Of course, that is the pitcher plant we are talking about in this video, right? So pitcher plants are known as the carnivore. Why carnivore? Because these plants, they eat the flies or any other insects. Suppose, you know, the cover, the cover of this plant is like this. So what happens? The plant, right, it's a long elongated plant. Then you see a cover there. So whenever a fly sits here, what happens? The cover of the plant closes suddenly, right? And consequently what happens? It kills the fly and digests it, All right? So that is the story of pitcher plant. So pitcher plant in science, we call it as Nepenthes cassiana. What is that? What is the scientific name of pitcher plant? Nepenthes cassiana. And what is the local name? What do we, the people of Garo Hills, how do we call it? This pitcher plant, we call it as Memang Coxi. What is that? We call it as Memang Coxi, right? Memang Coxi. Why Memang Coxi? Are you scared about whenever we talk about Memang? Are you scared? Yes, you are. If you are watching this video right now in the middle of the night at 10, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. sleeping on your bed, then whenever I talk about Memang, you will be scared, right? Memang Coxi. So Coxi is what? Coxi is a small basket which we used to carry whenever we go for fishing, right? The Garo people, we, the Garo people, we like to carry a small basket. We put it in our back, right? We put it in our kankaryo ababo. So we tie it on our back and then we carry it. And whenever we get a fish, we put it inside, right? So that is the coxie. So now this is memang coxie, means the ghost basket, right? The ghost basket or the ghost coxie. So the ghost or the plant is the picture plant. It captures its prey and trap it, trap them inside and digest them, all right? Eats them up. The location of Bagmara Picture Plant Sanctuary is South Garo Hills is dedicated for the protection of picture plant, carnivorous plants. Now the scientific name is Nepenthes Cassiana and the local name or the Garo name is Memang Coxi, right? So I think this is all in this video. So let me revise once again before I conclude that we have learned today in this video that there are three wildlife sanctuaries in Meghalaya. One belongs to Ripoi district and two belongs to the Garo Hills region, specifically the South Garo Hills region. So the one belonging to Ripoi district is known as Nongkilam Wildlife Sanctuary and the other belonging to the South Garo Hills are known as the Bagmara Pitcher Plant Sanctuary and Siju Wildlife Sanctuary, right? So I hope that through my video, I was able to brush up your knowledge. I was able to update your knowledge. Right. So I believe that, that, that your memory is refreshed now after watching this video. So if you love watching this type of videos, if you love videos, if you love my explanations, then why are you being so confused? Comment in the comment section, yeah? I feel happy. I feel, you know, encouraged, motivated. I feel like, yes, I should make more videos because my video is able to help my dear friends who are watching me always in YouTube. So I've been happy that at least my video was helpful to someone. So I see there are many people who watch my videos like 200, 300, even 4K sometimes. So from that 4K, I don't even get like 2, 3 comments also. So I feel like they are not enjoying or what. So if you are enjoying, then please comment in the comment section. I feel very happy, you know, and I feel like more and more I should make this kind of videos. So if you are new to Ashok Tutorials, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Do subscribe to the channel. And those who are already members of Ashok Tutorials, then please hit that like button because without your likes, my videos are incomplete, right? So your likes make my video a complete one. And of course, do share it with your friends, with your sisters, brothers, anybody who elder or younger, whoever wants to update their knowledge on the geography of Meghalaya, right? So this is a general knowledge topic and you will see this kind of topics in MDET, especially in environmental science section for LP and even in the social science sections in UP, right? And even sometimes if you're lucky enough, you'll find them in science section of UP as well. So I think this is all in this video. And yes, of course, once again, a reminder that if you want to purchase the Ashok tutorial notes and previous year's question papers, then you can always contact in the WhatsApp number. Now, let me clarify one doubt that some of you are doubting 
that previous year's question buying from Ashok Tutorials is the same. We already have the question paper and we have solved them. But let me remind you that our question papers, our previous year's question papers are not like yours. We don't just take the correct option and give you, not like that. What we do is that we explain Suppose there was one question, right? Suppose there is one who is not as a father of the nation. Then suppose the options are Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, APJ Abdul Kalam, Shah Rukh Khan. So now, we know that the correct option is Mahatma Gandhi. So when we are giving you the PYQs, there we will write little description about Mahatma Gandhi, which are the movements he led and why he is not as the father of the nation. We will explain that correct option along with that. The best thing is that we will also explain the other option. Suppose, uh, suppose we will explain about the APJ Abdul Kalam. So APJ Abdul Kalam is known as the Missile Man of India, right? So that we will explain there. Then Jawaharlal Nehru, who was he? He was the Prime Minister or the President. That also we will explain there. Then who is Shah Rukh Khan? Shah Rukh Khan is a Bollywood superstar, right? So all those little, little description we will explain about each options given in the previous year's question paper. Why? So that it becomes a cakewalk for you. It becomes very easy, very simple. You, you know, you are not just studying the questions. You are understanding each options. And when you are understanding each of the given options and studying them, then you are indirectly preparing for your exam. It is just like the notes, right? Our PYQs are not just picked one. It is like the notes which you can study. I hope this is all in this video. So thank you everyone for watching Ashok Tutorials. Megalias first and the channel.